Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to do introducing else if statements. If you have multiple conditions that you need to be addressed, you can chain if statements together with else if statements. If the number is greater than 15, you want to return the string that says bigger than 15. Else if the number is less than 5, return smaller than 5. Else the number return the string between 5 and 15. So it's just saying if this, so basically the computer runs through here, it goes to this, say your number is um, six, six is greater than 15, false. It goes to the next one. Six is less than five, false. So it goes to the next one. The else statement means it doesn't matter what it is, it's going to return this. And so that's how we get that. So we wanna convert the logic to use else if statement. Um, so it's saying if greater than 10, um, if it's less than five, um, and then in, uh, between five. So seven is actually, if we were to console log this, uh, so that we can see the result in the ter terminal down here, we'll see that we're getting the result that we want. Seven is between five and 10, but the problem is they want us to convert this to use else if. So the way we do that is we just go like there. And then we'll see that the function still works properly. If we were to make this two, we would see that it would be smaller than five. And then if we were to make this uh, 10, we would see it's, uh, if we make it 11, it's greater than 10. So what's happening when it's 11, it just comes in here. If the value is greater than 10, which it is, so this value returns true. So we play out here and we return greater than 10. And so I think that that's gonna pass the test. Looks like I missed one. You should have at least two else statements. Okay, cool. So we've got one else if statement. So what we wanna do now is add an else statement here, and then we wanna move this line of code up to here. There we go. And I bet if we run the tests now, we'll pass. So yeah, if, if else statements are great. Else, else statements are great to end on. You don't actually have to end on an else statement. You can also just leave an else if statement here. Uh, and so, yeah, this is something that you'll use probably all the time in programming. So it's a good idea to get a grip on this. Um, I think that this is all pretty, uh, pretty well explained. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next lesson.